Hello and welcome or welcome back to Birello Bay. In uh, today's episode, I think we are going to be focusing mostly on industry. So in our first episode, we got pretty well set up. Um, we've got quite a few people already going on. We were making actually a decent amount of money. Um, not really too bad at all. And yeah, we've got a lot of this already filled in. So I don't think, yeah, we don't really have too much demand for residential or anything. So we're not going to worry too much about filling the rest of this in. Um, but our industry does need a bit of a cleanup. So big things I can think of right now um, are fishing, our fish factory. We need quite a few more of these fishing harbors, I think, to feed enough of the enough for the fish factory. So we're definitely gonna have to put down a few more of those. I think they're kind of pricey, but we're making some money, so that should be okay. And I want to, I want to actually move and expand our forestry industry. Um, I think I just kind of I like this area as our services, like our garbage, our power, um, some like random normal industrial. But I think I want to move our forestry down to this area. It kind of lets us expand it all the way down um, if we want to. And I just think that's going to be a much better area with uh, less pollution. So we don't have these sad, sad trees <laughs> that we're trying to uh, trying to industrialize, industrialize in whatever. Um, so without any further ado, I think first step is going to be fishing. So that, uh, that seems to be the easiest. All right. So yeah, we could place, we have enough money to place a couple more fish markets. So I'm just going to get rid, actually I'm going to pause it for a minute so nothing gets too angry. And then I think I can just kind of get rid of the road for now and put a couple more along the shoreline here. So let's see. I think I can do something like I can put it here temporarily and then I'll use move it to um, to move it a bit better. <laughs> uh, so let's I think we can do the move it tool. We can grab it. We can drag it a little bit closer here, but then we could also I think if we go control H. Yeah, we can click on this guy and now it's level. Perfect. And then we'll just line it right up so we can attach it with a little tiny section of road. Actually, I wonder, I'm gonna move this guy down a bit too, I think. Um, yeah, I think just so that we can squeeze in as much as possible in here. Something like that. And like that. So the same height. No, but okay, there we go. That'll uh, that'll let us squeeze in a bit more. Perfect. Um, I'm thinking maybe one more for now, and then hopefully we will unlock the fish factory soon. Or not the fish factory, sorry, the fish farm, I think is what it is. Um, and then that can also add to add to our industry a bit. So let's grab this guy, make it the same height as that guy, and then move it. Um, can I rotate this guy? Oh yeah, I can. Perfect. Just, I don't want to mess up the shoreline too much, but we obviously need to mess it up a little bit to fit these. <laughs> All right, let's do that for now. And then hopefully we have enough room here to fit a fish farm underneath the bridge. And then that should be good. So um, let's just make some, I don't know if the roots really matter. Oh, there's a bit of, um, what is that, tuna, I guess, over here? Interesting, okay. In that case, then let's uh, try to grab that. I mean, eh, maybe that's not quite maybe big enough, but let's uh, let's test it out anyway and see. And then this one we'll just bring all the way through here. I think we can actually bring the roots out of the uh, outside of our boundaries, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, let's let that actually let's connect the road first, <laughs> so it doesn't complain too much. Um, I wonder if that's gonna let us connect or if it's gonna be kind of wacky. Uh, actually doesn't look too bad. All right, let's just leave that for now. Maybe we'll uh, clean up a bit of a better road system in here later on, but for now, I think that's good enough. Um, now let's let it run a bit and see what we get for efficiencies. Yeah, we got, well, I could probably make that one a bit bigger. Um, but once these guys actually send out some trucks, we can see what their efficiencies are. And of course, we got to bring our water line back this way. Bit. And uh, we'll see if this ends up filling up the factory. I don't know if it will or not, um, but I think it's fine to wait and see. Now, I'm trying to think of what we should do with our roads for now, because I don't think, like eventually I do want to bring the highway all the way through to here, but I don't think I'm going to unlock this area first. I think I want to expand on what we have so far. Oh, it's an airplane. 
There is a lot of really good re like industry or, um, resources over here, but I actually think that's quite a few. Yeah, I think we'd need like a couple of squares to really take full advantage of that anyway. Um, so maybe that's like our next step after we kind of fill out these at least four, if not like six squares here. We also have lots of oil out here. Like we've got a lot of places to go. So <laughs> I'm thinking maybe we stick to here first and then we worry about kind of crossing, um, crossing the river over here a little bit later on. Um, what are you complaining about? Garbage, oh boy, all right. Are we already out of, uh, are we having some garbage issues already? Oh, not really. Okay. Um, well, we'll see if that continues to be an issue. <laughs> if uh, more people start to have garbage issues, maybe we need another landfill, but I think, I think our landfill's fine. So um, either way, let's go back to what we were gonna do here. So roads, so I'm thinking maybe we bring the, Maybe we just turn this into a large road to bring all the way across here. And then we'll bring the large road down here because I know I want one that's going to kind of connect to this um, area later on anyway, make it easy to get all the way up to here and down. Um, so this should be fine. Um, we can kind of connect it to there and then we can have it tee off into the industrial zone over here. Um, I think that'll work quite well. And then we can also have it come tee off into here and into here where we can start our forestry um, and maybe we'll connect we'll connect here as well um, all the way through but I think that'll be a good place to start for now so let's pause it for a second because I want to get rid of this dirt road all right there we go we've got some uh, more proper access here now <laughs> um, okay so let's take a look at how our industry is over here okay so we've got quite a bit of dark green right here and then maybe a, some factory and then some more, um, what do you call those? The uh, like raw goods, <laughs> um, extraction buildings. Uh, so that'll be good. So I think if I bring our dirt road, maybe to like, well, probably like here, right? Then our, our buildings will go back um, and gather all of that. So I think that'll be perfect. Yeah, something like that for now should, uh, should work well. And then I think what we need to do is expand our industry area. So, oh, we don't need this to be an industry area, actually. Area, we can get rid of this one. I didn't realize you didn't need an area for the fishing. <laughs> but I do just want to bring this down because that way we can reuse the buildings, I think. So we'll bring this down here, paint it all in nicely. At least on, well, I guess it'll probably be both sides of the road. So let's just do that for now. Perfect, and then we can move the buildings and then we'll change the uh, we'll change the designation over here. So what do we have here? I know we have a forestry building somewhere. Which one is it? This one. Okay, the forestry main building. So let's um let's relocate and put this guy. We'll just put it right on the corner here because there isn't any good um no good trees there anyway. And then let's move our plantations. And then that should leave us free to get rid of this area. It is a shame because there's such good trees here, but I don't know. I think uh, I think this is a better location for it. <laughs> and then I think what I'm going to do is we can leave this area as a specialized area or no. Um, we'll leave it as an area, but we'll make it generic industry. Um, and then they'll tear down all those buildings and rebuild them. <laughs> but that'll be fine. That'll let us uh, Put in more of our, I don't know, I think it's just a more appropriate place to have, like, we need some more landfills probably, and we'll need some more power plants and that kind of thing. So that'll just, uh, that'll make all this a little bit easier. Um, yeah, I think the rest of these are all just zoned areas, right? Yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to, we're kind of running out of money, of course, because we just built a bunch of industry stuff. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna redo some of these roads. Um, I want to get rid of these ones. Make this just a little bit more even. So we'll carry this road all the way through. Like that. All right, there we go. Just make this whole area a little bit cleaner. <laughs> I'm sure uh, we'll have to, actually, maybe we should double check that now. Okay, electricity, we've got a decent amount of electricity available. Our water is getting low, but maybe we should just keep an eye on that um, and we can add another pump and all of that once uh, 
once we actually start to run low. What is the problem in here? Not enough educated workers. Okay. Uh, maybe actually, why is there no power here? Oh, now our power line doesn't reach. <laughs> there, let's do that. Perfect. Um, all right. Well, we definitely don't have enough money to place our schools anyway. Oh, I bet we missed placing a high school, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. I think, I think next episode I want to do like a full overhaul of like our actual city area. <laughs> um, our residential area, do schools, do medical, do parks, all of that fun stuff. Um, so you might just have to deal with not having educated workers for a little bit. Well, actually educated should be elementary school. So maybe they will get that. <laughs> uh, we'll see, but I think for right now, I'm just gonna have to wait and save up a bit more money um, because for our lumber industry, we want a factory, I think. Log yard. Yeah, we'll want a sawmill, so that's quite expensive. Um, it might be worth doing another plantation, because uh, I know we're going to need quite a few. So let's just throw that in there for now. And then I'm just going to let the game kind of do its thing for a little bit. And let's see if we can't make a bit more money um, and unlock a few more things. All right, so now that we've got a little bit of money flowing in, uh, let's throw in. I just put down a small log yard. Uh, just to get a little bit of our overflow, but I think we can now throw in a sawmill. Um, yeah, there's not really any, I could maybe do like a plantation there. Um, and then throw this guy right beside it. Is that the space? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, so let's see, uh, let's see if they, oh yeah, look at that. We got a whole bunch already, perfect. We are doing a great job. Awesome. Uh, so I was also just thinking, we don't have any garbage processing. <laughs> so I do want to place down a couple of recycling centers uh, just to like keep our landfill from getting too high. I also wonder if we need another landfill because another person got that, um, got the garbage notification over here. Uh, although it doesn't seem to be here anymore. So maybe it's okay. But either way, I think we got to get some, uh, get some recycling going. And apparently we need more industry. I wonder, I wonder if that means there's people who are unemployed. I wish you could kind of like see how many people you have unemployed. <laughs> so I don't want to put down a bunch of industry and then not have jobs available. Um, but maybe we just have to be a little bit sparring, sparing. So we could, for example, just fill out this road and, oh, what did we get? Oh, we got forestry area level two, perfect. So that was really quick actually. Um, now I know, I think furniture factor, furniture factory is a special, one of those unique items. Um, we definitely don't have enough money for that right now. <laughs> uh, the barracks, increase efficiency, that could be good. Pellet plant, I'm not totally sure what that is. Um, and the small tree sapling field, I think is just maybe a better version of the plantation. So I'm gonna definitely place down some of those, um, but let's see what else we can get going first. Um, yeah, so industry, yeah, let's just fill in this area too and we'll see if that bar goes down because I know the, the bars can be kind of, it can be a little bit finicky, I guess, <laughs> to say the least when, you're, uh, when your town is small. All right, so let's see here. What do we have? Forestry, small tree sapling field. Oh, it fits perfectly right there. Let's try that. See if, our, uh, see if we have enough green over there <laughs> to make that run. And let's take a look, what else did we get? We got the biomass pellet plant. Oh, okay, so it makes paper. Awesome, okay. Um, so we had special good timber and then special good paper. So we definitely wanna place one of those. Um, let's, let's place one of these. I have a feeling we're gonna have to do a power right away here. Uh, let's just put it right there, good enough. And now we have no money, but <laughs> I'm just kind of thinking with all these new buildings, yeah, our electricity is going way down. Okay, so what do we want to do for electricity? Um, advanced wind turbines could be cool. We could just do another coal plant, outputs 40. I mean, these output 20 actually, that's not bad at all. Two of these, a little bit more money, but like a bit greener energy is not, uh, not the worst idea. And we'll definitely, yeah. I think we're gonna make that money right away here. 
um, hopefully before we totally run out of energy. <laughs> but I wonder if we, uh, wonder if we actually will get 20 over here. Oh yeah, estimated production, 20. Perfect, this can be just like a super busy industrial water area. I think that'd be super cool. Okay, let's uh, place it as far back as we can. Oh wait, no, it doesn't say 20 anymore, it says 19. Anywhere do we have 20? 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Let's place that for now. Um, oh, but we, okay. It's right. Of course we have to connect it. Um, can we place these in the water? Oh, I guess we can. Place that too far over. Okay. I guess we could just do that. I mean, whatever. Is that in water power line a little bit weird, but uh, <laughs> it actually looks kind of cool, I think. Right? I don't know. Hopefully our boats don't run into them. Yeah, they're just zooming around. Perfect. All right, now we'll house our electricity. Okay, better. I think we could definitely go with placing another one of those. Um, water and water treatment is right on the edge. If we're gonna buy anything else big, we're definitely gonna have to uh, have to deal with that. Oh, these places got abandoned. Darn, was it uh, not enough workers? <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. Um, what do we have? All right, not enough raw material. This guy has enough. Okay, maybe they're just still delivering. Um, I think it could be worth it to maybe place a few more of these guys if we have the money for it. Um, yeah, tree sapling field will produce raw forest products. Extractor need to be placed on forest area. Inside industry area. What's an extractor? All extractor variations produce raw forest products. Okay, it's just a variation off of this one, I see. Um, right, they're called extractors. That makes sense. And I think Sada storage is just a fancier version of the storage. Yeah, for the raw forest products. Okay, no, that sounds perfectly fine. So let's uh, let's place another. Well, you know what? I kind of like these better, to be honest. Um, so I'm gonna place another one of these. Maybe two more, since we have the two factories now. I think we're gonna need quite a bit of uh, maybe even three. <laughs> I think we're gonna need a lot. A lot, a lot of this forestry going on. Yeah, it's kind of cute. A field. Field or greenhouse? Oh no, definitely field. <laughs> we'll just leave that at that. Perfect. All right. So yes, we're still going fast. We're still making money. That's awesome. Like putting it in uh, super speed mode <laughs> just to like be able to build and make money at the same time. But uh, it's definitely a little intimidating when you never know. Um, when your city's gonna start complaining about something. Water's good, electricity's good. I think that's what really matters. Our people are generally happy. Um, okay, now we have a big need for residential though. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zone all of this. Um, eventually I want this to be more like high capacity um, and stuff, but um, I think for now we'll just fill it in. That way we can actually supply <laughs> workers to our industrial areas. Um, but the next thing that I wanna do here is we also have mining available on this cliffside. So I think it would be really cool to put in, um, put in some mining, essentially like digging into the side of the mountain here. So um, I'll need to grab a little bit more money, but let's uh, zone out the area anyway, to start with. Um, or industry, no, we want uh, industry specialization or paint industry area, I guess. Uh, let's just do this for now, and then maybe we'll expand on this a little bit um, this way, but I don't know if I really... Well, actually, we could go behind the forestry. Um, that'd be pretty easy to do, actually. So let's just do that. Not We'll keep them as two separate ones. Um, actually, that might be a good place to start. We can just turn in here um, and put in, put in a few buildings. Uh, let's see. Where is, I keep like, I want to know, okay, so I need to basically back it up right to the edge of the mountain here, probably something like, there, yeah, hopefully they'll, uh, hopefully they'll fit in there. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to have to do a bit of uh, terraforming, but I'm curious to see how well the buildings go like into the sides of mountains, because I kind of assume that's what they're for, um, or that's kind of what they're used to doing, but we'll see. Um, all right, let's place our main building. Um, we'll place it on this side of the road. Oh, wait. Oh, I see, because our areas are overlapping a little bit. Um, let's just place it here then, because there is no... This area is kind of white. 
All right, perfect. Uh, so we get a small ore mine, sand storage, and ore grinding mill. Awesome. Uh, small ore mine. Okay, so I guess this is this is our extraction for now. That's totally fine. Let's uh, place one over here. Okay, let's turn. Well, no, I can't turn that off right now. <laughs> okay, let's place two for now. We'll fill in the water and stuff, and then we'll take a look at what that actually looks like. Um, because I am curious. All right, there it is. Okay, yeah, so it kind of looks like they're digging into the side of the mountain a little bit there. All right, yeah, actually, I don't mind. I mean, it's dark. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell the look of it in the dark, uh, but it doesn't look terrible. Let's, uh... okay, yeah, everything looks good. Um, let's see what else we got. I think we got a factory, right? Or grinding mill, okay. 20,000, we'll get that right away. Um, but we also will definitely need a storage. So let's put storage. Um, you know what? I'm going to fix these areas because I, I want to be able to do this side. Um, the forestry can end here. <laughs> and I want to place our buildings on the other side, our storage and stuff. Something like that. There we go. And then once we get the factory, we can place it here. All right, and there we go. We can place our mill right there. Perfect. Maybe worth uh, smoothing this out a bit. I wonder if it'll let me with the actual, I'm uh, <laughs> uh, not level. I just want to smooth it out. Oh yeah, it'll move the trees around a little bit. That's nice. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, they'll manipulate the ground a little bit to put these things in, but we go. And look at that. It's like right, <laughs> right up next to each other. <laughs> Our industry is nice and tight in there. That's perfect. All right. So let's see. Oh, there it is. It's way over there. Florence Mining. Okay. So we're just kind of, we're starting on it at least. Yeah, we've got lots of ore going into here. Um, we've got this already almost full. Um, over here as well, I had to set this to empty because we were, uh, we were getting pretty much full and not enough buyers. I don't understand this error, like how we have a full storage, not enough buyers, but we don't have enough raw materials. I don't know if that's just like trucks, um, being the problem. We just don't have enough trucks like delivering, but I guess, uh, I guess maybe that'll, that'll balance itself out as well. But it looks like this is taking off as well, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, our people have all moved in. So we have a pretty even demand for everything. Um, quite a bit of demand for commercial or for residential again as well. So I wonder if it's worth building another, I was thinking it would make sense maybe to have a community over on this side of the highway as well. Like, um, a community meant for workers of the industry area, I guess. <laughs> uh, so they have like really quick access to work. I don't think it's too close. I think if we made it like a narrow kind of thing here, that would make sense because I'm not going to expand the forestry out to here. There's no, um, I guess we could actually, instead of expanding the industry down, we could expand the industry out and put the neighborhood down here. Maybe that would make more sense actually, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Um, so if we kind of expanded this road, Actually, maybe we just make another offshoot here and then that can be kind of the center road for another little community um, that backs into this area here. That could work really well. And then if we need to expand on our forestry, we can expand buildings over here. Um, maybe we leave a little bit, a little bit more to add more of these, but I think that's probably fine how it is. And then, yeah. That should be good. We could actually expand the forestry into this area probably too. There's uh, there must be some here. Yeah, there's a little bit here um, as well. So we could always make it on both sides of the street. Not a bad idea. Um, so yeah, I think that uh, that could work out quite well. So why don't we, okay, now garbage is an issue, right? We wanted to, uh, we knew that we wanted to deal with garbage. So let's slow things down a little bit. <laughs> uh, we definitely need another landfill. So I'm just gonna place that right across from the first one here. And then I want to do a few recycling centers. So let's do, 
I don't have money. Okay, two for now. Um, and hopefully that uh, that works. Yeah, okay, there we go. Landfill 50, garbage processing still kind of sucks, but uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll keep buying these recycling centers um, as we have a bit more money. All right, not bad at all. Okay. So yeah, I don't really want to fill in this. This is going to be a park. These are going to be kind of park areas. So I don't really want to make this any more densely residential than it is right now. I think it's time if we have that high of a demand for residential um, that we start to build out a community over here. So I'm going to grid out some lines, um, a nice little, I don't know, I'll probably do something a little, maybe less gritty. I don't know. I like grids, <laughs> but I'll try to make it kind of interesting at least um, over in this area over here. All right, we'll go with something like that. And then let's just do all of this on the inside. Uh, we can make commercial, or residential. <laughs> That's what we wanna do. And then I'm thinking commercial on the main strip here and on these side, um, these side roads as well. And then I do think that we can connect, I think it makes sense to connect this community directly to the industry area. Um, I just don't want to, um, I don't want the commercial trucks coming into here. So I think we can set that in a policy if we, uh, if we just set up, set up this as a neighborhood. So let's do that. Uh, we go into paint district, we'll do this district right here. And Lake Heights. All right, let's go to policies. And I think there is a policy somewhere here that makes it so that you can't have those like freight trucks and stuff. Okay, maybe I'm mistaken or maybe it, uh, we just don't have it unlocked yet. <laughs> so I don't see it either way, um, but we'll keep that in mind for later if it is something that we unlock um, because I do think that'll be a good one to have. And now we definitely need, uh, <laughs> we definitely need more water and our treatment going on in here. So we'll add one more pump. Um, I think that's the easiest way to do this. And then connect please. We'll add another inland treatment plant um, just over here somewhere. That should be fine. And then for power, I think we could do a couple more of these guys. Um, I think this is a pretty, a pretty decent way to do it. 20, perfect. <laughs> just gonna move this around until we get 20. Get another 20 here. Oh, not enough money. Okay, well we might get 20. Um, so let's, uh, we'll just let that be for now. <laughs> and there we go. We made it to busy town. <laughs> so we get oil industry. That's cool. Although we are, we are pretty far away from our oil. Um, tourism. Ooh, actually, I wonder if tourists are going to come. I do want a tourist area by the beach. So maybe it's worth doing that. I think it's already commercial anyway. Um, some policies. Here we go. Heavy traffic ban. Um, no heavy transport vehicles. I get, I think maybe, maybe that'll work. Um, I don't know if that's going to affect the actual commercial buildings in this area, though. I don't think so. But I don't actually know. I might have to look that up a little bit. <laughs> um, all right. Noise. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I think the rest of those are good. Ooh, and we've got our bike lanes now, I think. Uh, we're... Oh, that's grass, not bike lanes. Um, oh, did we not get our roads with bike lanes? Do we already have them? Maybe we already have them. Eh, maybe we already have our roads with bike lanes. <laughs> I want to, uh, I want to get on, tr like, yeah, all that city stuff I think is going to have to be in its own episode, but I'm really excited for all of that. Ooh, and we get fire now, put more police, more garden stuff with oh, the piers. We can make a beautiful beach. Oh goodness. All right. We've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, so how's our, uh, let's name this like Industry Heights or something. <laughs> All right, you get your raw materials because you don't have enough buyers for this stuff, <laughs> apparently. Um, or we don't have enough storage, maybe we just need more storage. Um, not enough buyers for metals. Oh, that's interesting. I thought we would just export the metals. 
Um, let's see, it's going to mining. Yeah, it's not even like I have a... I can't store the metal or anything. That's interesting. I wonder if we just don't have enough. Yeah, we have five out of five trucks. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well... I guess, uh, I guess we'll just let this be. <laughs> I don't exactly know how all of that works, uh, so I might have to look into that a little bit, but overall, I think we're, uh, we're doing good. We're making a lot of money now. I guess we got a big boost of money from the, um, from the last thing we did there. So I think it might be worth maybe making another one of these mills, um, cause we seem to have a lot of ore. So let's throw another one of these guys in here and then that should be good, because yeah, our ore is almost full. Um, biomass pellets looks good. And yeah, these guys need raw materials, even though they're right here. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I uh, should also maybe set this to empty. Um, but I think that's okay. It just takes its time. So I don't really want to set up more more of these. I mean, I'm not sure exactly how that, uh, how that is going to help us. We need, yeah, we just need to produce a bunch more and then we need a few more workers too. Actually, we don't even have enough jobs. Okay. We also need to start educating people, <laughs> which is fun. So I think, actually, you know what? We need to do some fishing. So let's see here. What do we have? Oh, we did unlock some more for fishing. Okay. So we have specific fishing harbors now. We can do anchovy salmon. Yada yada, I don't know what that does for us, but I do know that we can get a fish farm, which is awesome. Um, let's place that down and then, of course, move it. Um, because... I want it to just kind of match a little bit better. Perfect, just like that. That looks good. Throw in a road. And some water. And just like that, our fish farm should be in operation, which is perfect. And hopefully that's enough to supply our factory. I don't know, it's, it still doesn't really have much in storage, but <laughs> maybe we'll replace one of the fishing harbors too. I don't know. I don't really want our industry to feed this way at all because there's going to be the tourist beach and all that kind of stuff over here. So not really a, not really a fishing area. Or at least not that kind of fishing. <laughs> All right, so I want to do, um, let's do an area here. So I think we can do a small, small paint. Let's make these hotels, just this one little strip so we can get some, uh, maybe some tourists in here. This one's tourism, right? Yeah, there we go, Wood Square. Sure. <laughs> well, uh, we'll think about renaming some stuff later on, I think. Um, but that looks really good. Now I do want to place, I'm just going to place a high school down somewhere now. Um, because I don't want to worry too much about not having the workers that we need. Um, high capacity high school. We don't really need that. What are options? High school, elementary school, elementary school, community school, Institute of Creative Arts, a prestigious school specializing in creative arts, educates teens, an alternative to the high school. Oh, that's kind of cool. That seems like it would fit well in our bougie neighborhood over here. <laughs> um, oh gosh, where though? Across from the park? Oh yeah, across from the big city park. Um, have like a big campus here. That could be kind of cool. Um, yeah, sure. I mean, on the corner? On the corner maybe makes more sense. Right across from the park. Yeah, okay, let's try that. And there we go. Now everybody can, uh, ooh, that looks, that looks pretty cool, actually. <laughs> it's a much nicer asset than the high school. All right, well, let's, uh, we'll go with that for now. Place that in there and see if the people will get a little bit more educated so they can work a little bit more on our industries. Um, all right, so what do we need? Maybe, okay, so Briarwood Forestry Area, let's go back to looking at this. So we do need to be able to have a few more workers. We need 350, but we only have enough jobs for 321. So I'm wondering if we definitely need another one of these. Um, so let's just place another storage down for now. Oh, well, after we make a little bit more money anyway. 
Oh, and actually, while we were waiting for some money, we got a level up of our uh, mining area. So that's perfect. We have some more options. Um, cool. Glass, I think, is a special item. We've got storage. Barracks. Industrial steel plant. I wonder if that's one of the special ones, too. I guess, yeah, because they're plants, right? But we got a small ore mine underground. So I don't know if that's the same thing, just that, like skinned differently, or if that's actually better than the other one we had. Um, let's see. I think it might be kind of like the tree plantation versus <laughs> versus the uh, yeah. Workplaces 25, 35. Okay, so there's actually a few more workplaces um, for the same footprint, probably. Yeah, about the same the same footprint. Um, so that's kind of cool. Put that over here. See how that looks. What is this? Or industry main building. Okay, I'm gonna move this. <laughs> I'm gonna move this to this side because that doesn't really make any sense. Oh, I need to... Wow, it costs a lot to relocate things. Okay, maybe we'll just leave it for now. Um, right, yeah, we're getting, we're getting lots of ore. That's awesome. Oh, and we have a huge demand for residential again. Again, okay. Um, actually, you know what? We can expand this community down here a little bit. I'll... Uh, I'll do that. This will be our at least temporary <laughs> uh, horde of residential so that we can get our industries booming and our money growing. All right, there we go. <laughs> our uh, residential demand went down real quick after that one, um, which is perfect. Okay, so um, yeah, and we've got a ton of money again. All right, so what I was going to place was another storage for our lumber yard. Let's do sawdust storage this time. Uh, why not? We'll just place it over, well, I guess we'll place it here for now. I think we might have to fit, mess with this a little bit. Um, okay, so the storage area doesn't give you more workers. It must just be the, the factories and uh, and the fields. Um, I think we probably could do with more fields just because we, don't have, we still don't have enough materials for this. Um, so what I'm gonna do is move our road back because I think this is a little green still. Um, that's roughly the same size, right? I think if we put our road, um, here, and then we moved these buildings back. Okay, there we go. So we've got those guys all moved back there. And then obviously need some more water coming down here. And then let's throw in some more tree stuff. Um, we'll just, well, actually, you know, we have the Christmas tree thing here anyway. <laughs> let's uh, let's throw that in on this side. Or should we make it face the f storage? I think that was probably better actually. Put three of them down for now. Um, and that should give us lots more jobs, right? Yeah, okay. So we have room to level up now. <laughs> uh, let's check out this one, our mining. Um, so 350 and we don't even have anywhere close to, to that many jobs available, so. Uh, not enough raw materials now that we have two so let's uh let's build some more mines as well all right there we go i got four of these guys now three of these ones we must have uh enough jobs oh just enough okay <laughs> uh, i guess that's fine um at least that'll let us level up get a few more a few more buildings for it um and see how that goes so what's going on over here Landfill is not quite full, but I do think we need more garbage processing anyway. Let's slow things down a little bit. Um, still only have the recycling centers, um, but I think we could basically line this whole area with recycling centers <laughs> just to uh, just to be safe. All right, there we go. A couple more. Hopefully this helps. Um, all right, and our fish seems to be... Uh, okay. I wonder if it's worth, because I think the fish farm, fish farm is more efficient than these ones, right? That's kind of the idea. Um, yeah, gather higher yields of fish than the fishing harbor. Yeah, 26 workplaces. Yeah, they're the same workplaces. Um, okay, here we go. 4,800 units per week versus... I can actually say how much per week. Hmm. 
Actually, did these say how much they're catching per week? They don't. Okay, interesting. Well, I wonder if it's worth replacing one of these with another fish farm just to keep keep our supply up um, a little bit higher. Um, oh, or could we squeeze another one in? I don't know if we could. Yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll try to squeeze. Let's let's see what we can do here. All right, there we go. I had to use uh, the move it tool. This is sticking outside city limits a little bit, but uh, did manage to squeeze in another one here. Tiny, being clipped a tiny bit by the bridge, but uh, I don't think it's too big of a deal. <laughs> Things kind of cool. They're very squeezed in there. Um, so hopefully that gets our production up even higher. Uh, is there actually water going over there? Oh yeah, from the, uh, the water pumps, of course. All right, there we go. So what is this? Not enough educated workers. Well, we've got a school now, so hopefully that helps. Um, okay, and this neighborhood is s covered in crime. <laughs> Which probably makes sense because um, we don't have we don't have any kind of police station here. So I do think I'm going to put one maybe on just this main drag here um, as soon as we get enough money and also fire coverage um, because, yeah, I have a feeling this all of this could burst into flames at any moment. <laughs> so I think that could be worth it. Maybe I'll do the fire over here so it covers the industry area and then I'll do the police down here so it covers kind of both of these. Um, but we obviously need a little bit more money for that. Oh, wow, we're getting a lot of uh, house upgrades just from placing the uh, just from placing the police station down. Um, once we uh, once we get into neighborhood mode, that's going to add a whole lot, I think. All right, and there we go, a bit more fire coverage as well. Perfect. Um, okay, let's slow things down a little bit. We still have such a high residential demand. <laughs> I guess it's because we built so much industry. We just don't have enough workers. What do we have here? Yeah, we need a lot of workers to level up. Um, oh yeah, look, we've made so much. We just need more workers. Okay. Okay, we're almost here on this one. Hmm. If I close down some of these, would uh, would the workers like move in here? <laughs> 16 out of 25, 11 out of 20. Like, I wonder if I need to just get rid of some of our other industry. And I don't hate the idea. Let's uh, maybe I'll try it a little bit and see if that helps. Okay, yeah, the people are moving in here quickly now. That just jumped up a whole bunch. <laughs> that is perfect. All right, I want to get both these to level three. Is this one going up as well? Uh, not nearly as fast as that other one was, but uh, I do think people are switching jobs, so that's good. Oh, and of course now we have no power. <laughs> Oh no, I see the problem. Oh shoot, okay. <laughs> no, I'm just being dumb. Oh no. All right, can I turn this off? I can turn it off, okay. Um, I'll leave it there for later, but turn it off. This isn't even connected because we broke down some of our, uh, <laughs> some of our other buildings. Okay, wait, is there a better way to do this? I think maybe we'll connect from here to here. Maybe like that. Yeah, we were only getting power here from the from the wind turbines and then here from our coal plants. All right, let's uh, let's try that. Now it should all be connected. <laughs> oh. All right, yeah, there we go. Okay, I think it's going away now. Perfect. And we'll keep that one off until we uh, until we need more power again. Panic. Panic ensues. Always pay attention to what you were doing <laughs> if, if panic happens. All right, so we're slowly making our way up to... Are we even going to make it to 350? I don't know. Um, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, our workers aren't going up anymore. I think, I think I'm going to get rid of some more industry. Everybody is going to work in our, um, in our other industry. And then if we get complaints that there's not enough industry, we'll make some more, but I'm just going to get rid of it for now. Um, we want everybody to come and work over here.
I also think we could get away with adding a tiny bit more um, right to this area here. Maybe that'll help a little bit. All right, there we go. We got a bunch of houses popping up there and our demand is slowly going down. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can make it to... Ooh, we're getting really close on this one. 232 out of... Two, or 332 out of 350. So it seems to be going up a little bit slower, but um, not too bad. How's our electricity and water? Good, good. Landfill is okay. <laughs> Could uh, definitely afford to put in a couple more recycling centers. Recycling centers, so many. I guess once we get the incinerator, that helps too, but um, yeah, it's it being a lot of garbage processing. Not enough educated workers. Um, let's check and see if we actually have, uh, how is our education? Um, okay, so we do not have enough elementary capacity. Maybe that's one of the problems. Um, let's throw in a couple more here and there, and then when we go to like fix up our cities a bit, maybe we'll move them around. Um, but yeah, elementary school, I think we definitely need another one over here at least. And then maybe even two on this side and at least one over here. Uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll start with one over here and then I don't know. We'll see. All right, there we go. Yeah, our, our residential demand has gone right all the way down. <laughs> of course it has, but uh, we still don't have enough workers for all of our jobs. So maybe people will uh, will still be moving in, and getting some uh, getting some jobs filled up for us. All right, so let's place down a couple of elementary schools here just temporarily. We'll do one on this corner. And one down here as well. Maybe maybe over here. We're gonna make some of this area more park-like, so we can uh, throw it in on the corner over here. Maybe a little too close to the cemetery, but I don't know. We'll uh, we'll turn it into a park. <laughs> and we want to place one more in this community. I think we'll place it on this street that has the uh, fire hall or the police department, I guess. All right, there we go. Now we have plenty of capacity. We do need one more high school, it looks like, um, at least pretty soon here, but for now, I think it's fine. Um, don't worry about that next time. Um, how close are we here? 341 and still 275. <laughs> Nobody wants to work up here. How come? Um, that's all right. And yeah, so we got a bit of commercial coming in here. Um, I think maybe we'll fill this in as well uh, just to just to get that demand a bit down, um, and that should be fine. We can always replace that with services and stuff later if we need to. Um, these people obviously don't have much for commercial around. I wonder if it would be worth doing a little like, um, oh, actually that would probably be, hmm, it's an interesting thought. I could do like a mini like market here, uh, do like some three by three buildings and we can, uh, we could make it a, uh, a special area. So we could do, I think we got, didn't we unlock? Let's see. Yeah, local and organic produce. So let's do that. <laughs> let's just paint this little area here and make it a lo local and organic produce area. Wait, did I, I messed that up. I want to do just a normal area here. All right, yeah, just like that. <laughs> High heights, just put a little leaf there. <laughs> uh, that's all right. Um, so that'll encourage some local and organic produce to come into this area, uh, which makes sense. We're a little bit, a little bit bougie, although, wait, what does that actually mean? Because we don't have agriculture. <laughs> let me, uh, let me double check that. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Reduce produces 50% of goods sold locally. I mean, okay. Ah, okay, sure, whatever. That that's totally fine. Um, we could actually expand this area all the way out. Really, have this whole neighborhood be um, be a bit more of a a green area. Something like that. And 
And then I think it could be worth doing a couple more little of these uh, commercial pockets. So I think it would make sense to maybe have one over here is maybe our other area that's kind of lacking. Um, so let's do that as well. Let's go another, I don't know, we'll just do three by three. I think that's a pretty good size. We're obviously getting rid of a couple homes here, but I don't think it'll be too big of a deal. Um, we can also do another one here. There we go, something like that. I think that'll add, uh, add quite a bit to our little areas. All right, and there we go. We made it to level three, finally. <laughs> we get a bit less pollution, a bit more efficiency. Um, and we get medium tree plantations, which is awesome. And a printing press, okay. Um, that's kind of cool. So let's uh, put timber, all right. Okay, not too bad. Um, either way, at least we made it to level three. This one, I think, yeah, we're still just kind of waiting on workers to come in and take jobs over there, which I think is totally fine. Um, you know, it, it takes some time. <laughs> I don't know exactly what encourages people. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I do know, isn't it? Uh, you can put policies into place to encourage people to uh, move to work here, right? Proof logistics. I'm just gonna put them all into, into, uh, into oh wait, was the last, that last one's good for people too, right? Production faster, increase production, increase building up keep. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, yeah, well, let's try that. See if that, uh, <laughs> maybe that will make it. I don't know if that makes it so people want to work here more. <laughs> We're still stuck at, still stuck at 282, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll take it slow. Things can, uh, they can, you know, increase as they need to. I wonder if there's any other good policies. Do we unlock any good ones? Um, oh yeah, we should do, we should definitely do recycling everywhere, I think. Um, what's parks and recreation? Okay, that just increases budget. I don't really want to do too much that increases like too much budget, um, but less garbage is good. Um, power usage, reduce electricity, but a bit more upkeep for buildings. I think that's fine to do too. Keep less power, less water. Do more recycling. <laughs> you know, do the uh, do the regular stuff. Uh, schools out. Oh, it says for working over education. Only a small portion of the edge of both cities will go to the university. Um, recycle plastic. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's do that for sure over here. Um, we'll make them recycle plastic. <laughs> Uh, tourists choose parks, free Wi-Fi. What does that do? Reduce mail. Oh gosh, we don't even have mail going on yet. Um, offers fishing license to citizens in exchange for a small amount of money. Well, that's kind of cool, actually. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. I'm going to make all these areas recycle. Or no, not recycle plastic. Um, Recycling, water usage, and power usage. And then let's make another, let's, you know, let's just make all of our areas, at least neighborhoods. Uh, and we'll just put on for now power, water, and, oh, and smoke detectors. Let's do that too, actually, um, because I think that helps make sure that we don't catch on fire. <laughs> and smoke detectors, perfect. All right, there we go. So there's at least, um, oh, we'll expand this. This whole area will be the same thing. There we go, I think that'll be good. Um, yeah, we still have lots of, lots of death care available. All right, perfect. So I think that's a pretty good place to hold it for today. Um, hopefully we're still making some money. <laughs> but we've got a little bit of a nest egg here to start um, to start next episode which, with, which is gonna be awesome. Um, I am really excited because I really want to get, I wanted to get our industries going so we can have a good income uh, first, but really what I wanna do is decorate, decorate, decorate our neighborhoods here. So I'm really excited about that. I wanna build a very beautiful park, um, like city park in here. We've got a whole bunch of these like little green areas. I would love to like landscape up, maybe add some, well, not maybe, but definitely add a lot of walking, um, that kind of thing, a lot more access throughout this whole, all of these areas. That's why I left so much blank. <laughs> um, Cause I know that I wanna add some access and like little mini parks and stuff in the middle. I think that'll be super cool. 
Um, we'll add some more, you know, a park over here around the cemetery as well. I think will be really nice. And yeah, I think it'll just, it's gonna add a lot, especially to our land values and stuff too. We'll all obviously also upgrade the roads at some point. I just, we don't really make enough money yet. So <laughs> that does make it a little bit tough, um, but we will, we will make the money eventually. I'm not too concerned about that, um, which actually reminds me, let's just pay off our, uh, pay off our loan. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll do, and we'll do, you know, make sure we have enough schools. I know we have to place like a whole bunch more in here too. Um, we have our hospitals, we have our child health off like offices and all of that. We need some good places to put everything like that, um, in these communities as well. So we'll work on all of that next episode. Uh, but for now that is going to be it. As always, let me know what you think of the episode, of the series, of, you know, suggestions, questions, anything that you might have. Leave them in the comment section below. I love reading your comments. Um, it's always very encouraging to get comments and see that people are watching the videos. Um, so that's very much appreciated. And I will talk to you in the next one.